I've just finished work. We are on our way home. Goodbye to that spider over there. It's been about 48 hours since the last time I picked up the camera. However, we are going home. Gonna go gym quickly. England have just slapped someone, 6-2, I believe. Um, we're gonna go home. Hopefully gonna go to the gym because I need a gym session because it's been the least couple of days. And then, fingers crossed, we're gonna get to our farm park and hopefully vlog that for you lovely people. Hi guys, and welcome back to the series. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far. We have actually got four episodes after this one. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more of the content. Nevertheless, we are on our way to the fan park here to watch France take on Australia in the group stages. The journey itself to the fan park was pretty straightforward. An Uber straight there, no hassle. You can also get the Metro as well, which again was absolutely free. Uh, once we arrived at the fan park, as you can see from the clips, we're just admiring the skyline. It was absolutely beautiful. And what you're going to see very quickly is that everyone is just enjoying themselves together harmoniously, enjoying the football, which is exactly the way it should be. We just got sec through second part of security. Um, I basically had the wrong documents, so I'm sorry, sure, but we all good now. We're Gucci. Gonna go through, get me a bag checked, and hopefully see France slap Australia. I don't know when you guys are gonna see this vlog, but just know I'm confident that France are gonna slap them. Right, so here we are. We finally made it to the FIFA Fan Festival. You love to see, I don't know where we are, not gonna lie. But all I do know is we're in, and there's flashing lights, so let's go. So we've got a little drone show here. Um, Oh, sorry, my fat fingers in the way, I do apologize. Hello. Um, what are the thoughts out of 10? What do we reckon? Yep, it's disappeared. Never mind. I'm not sure if I got that, but hopefully I have. Okay, this one's a bit better. Okay, two people. I think that's enough. Let's go, let's go to the real show. Let's go. Yeah, not sure what's going on here. I haven't got a clue. If so, someone can let me know in the comments down below what this is going to be. So what became very apparent was that it's absolutely massive. The fan park is humongous. And this was literally right at the start, hence there was no one there. The previous clip, so we were just walking along, trying to make our way to the screen, and all of a sudden we just see this fire display. Again, extremely random. They've got the welcome to Qatar sign as well, which again is very nice, but I'm not really sure why it was happening mid-tournament but nevertheless as you can see the fact are absolute quality eventually we did make our way to the screen which is going to be the next few clip it's very much an outdoorsy concert this was basically in between game so i just quickly checked out the food and beverage stores they had a lot of options I had basically everything for anyone's needs and also they were actually selling alcohol in a separate part so to all the people that were complaining about that you were obviously catered for also Nevertheless, as you can see, this was the sort of pre-game entertainment. Basically, not my kind of music, I'm not going to lie. However, the vibes itself were fantastic. Everyone from different parts of the world just enjoying each other's company. There was no animosity whatsoever and there was absolutely no issues. For me personally, this, the media back home in particular in England have been extremely false in the image in which they're portrayed and that really wasn't the true reflection of what was happening in Qatar in particular in the fan parks which was a good representation of people from all over the world just enjoying the time and there was literally no issues whatsoever when I was there personally but coming back to the concert itself as you can see it's absolutely fantastic everyone's enjoying themselves everyone's waving their flags and nobody's causing anyone any problems but it wasn't just it wasn't for me personally the music wasn't my taste uh, but nevertheless the game is just about to start after that show the football is finally starting finally god knows i'm on this place yes. anyways australia v france let's go you know nation's history absolute saves one nil to australia what about this crossfield pass from harry suter Right, 2-1 at half-time to France. Goals from Giroud and uh, Rabiot. Listen, the fan part is absolutely lit. Absolutely lit. If you just back on, so I'm going to go. But listen, so far, good vibes. Everyone's mingling in. People of different countries can't really complain. Everything that they're telling you in the Western media is absolute lies, but no surprise there. Anyways. Guys, I have to tell you something. Salah! Brothers, Second half, we just started here. Lucas Franz looking to get that third important goal. I can't really fancy it. Electrifying moments for Mbappe. But 
really got the curve on their toes in the opening 45 minutes. It's not as bad, but yeah. Fan Park. Great so I'm not sure if this clip really truly demonstrates how many people that were there, but as you can see, yeah, half the people sat down, half of us stood up. No issues whatsoever. Everyone enjoying the game. There we together. have it. Full times, full one. Druid levels and the on record. Record I think we've got a big amount of run. But listen, this vlog is going to come out after the World Cup most likely. So at this point, we already know who's won. But one thing I will say is, France were absolutely sensational today. We'll see what happens. Obviously, you guys watching this will already have known the result. But to future Usman, let's hope Argentina have come close after their Saudi disappointment. But anyways, there you have it. The fan park experience. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to walk and I'll talk in a bit. But So at this point, we just headed back to the hotel as it was quite late. Uh, in, in general, it was a fantastic experience. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And basically, going to pick you up when I'm back in the hotel. So finally, just got back to the hotel. Obviously, didn't really vlog the journey too much. But listen, I finally got my hands on a McDonald's. Got the McDonald's. It's a bit cold, actually. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to let you know what I think. Let's have a go. Hello, it's the day after. The night before, the fan park festival is absolutely lit. Congratulations to France. Like I said, whenever there's vlogs uploaded, the World Cup's probably done. But anyways, that aside, um, basically, I've got work at 5 p.m. today. It is currently 11.30 a.m. I don't know what, I can have a light in, I can have a lazy day, but there's not many opportunities like this that I get to go out during the day because I work pretty much every day um, and just explore. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get into an Uber now. We're going to go to a place called Katara Village, I believe. So just in the Uber now, on our way to the village. Um, listen, one mistake I made is peak heat. I've not been out this time, really, to be quite honest with you. So I'm not sure how I'm in a fair, so this will be interesting. So we just arrived at Katara Village. Yeah, this is what we came for. Uh, okay. So we've arrived. I'm not really sure what to expect. To be honest, over here is just a lot of nothing at the moment. But as you can see, they're putting things together here. Looks like a screen, I would imagine. Uh, probably come a bit early, but it's quite empty because, like I said, it's not peak heat just at the moment. Um, but it's getting to that time of the day where it's extremely warm. But that aside, this place is absolutely gorgeous already. You can already tell it's beautiful, it's well built. Um, from what I'm what I read online, it's kind of like the old Qatar, a bit of the history, the culture, that kind of thing. So, of course, that's what I'm here for. So, let's I go. See everyone on these little go karts, honest to god. I'm assuming you have to book this or something because this is the best way to travel in the sea. But anyways, I ain't got that kind of bread. As you can see, man's are rich. Um, I think this is the right way. I've got to be honest, it just looks intriguing to me. So we're just going to see where it takes me. This is where all the tourists are coming from. It's got to be the right way. So what became extremely apparent when I already started walking through this vicinity was it's absolutely breathtaking genuinely a beautiful beautiful place very very peaceful as well i did actually come out at a perfect time where it wasn't so busy and i did stumble across one of the famous mosques which of course is known as the blue mosque i would highly recommend visiting this place if you do come to katara village it was absolutely wow. beautiful so i just stumbled across the first little bit of history here at the katara village as you've just seen it's absolutely beautiful i'm pretty sure it's a mosque i'm gonna go find out um, it's, yeah, it seems like it's a mask. Uh, people taking the shoes off, but it's inshallah I can go inside. I don't know if you have to pay or not, but yeah, let's see how we get on. So Alhamdulillah, I did get an opportunity to go inside the mosque, and it was absolutely breathtaking, as you can see from these clips generally really peaceful i felt very much at peace within the mosque there was people from all over the world paying their respects and that's what it's all about at the end of the day and alhamdulillah i was extremely grateful to just go in pray and do my own thing so just come out of the mosque i just asked one of the guards it's actually called the blue mosque and it was built only 13 years ago it's quite modern i mean it's quite clear why it's called the blue mosque but um, I don't know what happened, basically. I went in and I got really emotional, which isn't... Well, I'm not the most pious person. Obviously, Alhamdulillah, I'm trying to bet myself every day. But yeah, it was just something about the mosque, the atmosphere. It was just really peaceful. 
really really peaceful and um, yeah it just got to me but alhamdulillah it's just nice because i haven't actually been to a mosque yet obviously there's a cinema there so there's an option to go that way it seems like there's a lot of people there but i don't know why this alleyway with literally nobody in it is more intriguing so we're gonna go this way and see where it takes us so we've come to a random alleyway and i think we found it this is what we we're looking for absolutely beautiful finally found it after that maze but listen there's no tourists as well so i've come at a great time i don't know if this is a true reflection of every day but it's currently 12 o'clock so if you want any pro tips to come at 12 o'clock oh wait actually there's tourists over there damn spoke too soon anyways let's go and wander about see where we can go so it turns out i came through the wrong entrance quite clearly so for those of you that are interested this is what it's meant to look like on entrance wow just take in people. Anyways, seems like I can walk through there, so I'm gonna see what it looks like from inside. So at this point, we were just walking through the amphitheater and it was absolutely breathtaking as you guys can see and this is where the gladiators would have walked through uh, a thousand years ago before they met their fate when they were fighting against each other and of course the lions as well um as you can imagine very very difficult for them mentally to you know walk through this before the battle and in case you're not aware i've just made all that up uh, but it sounded believable didn't it you believe me for a second but generally it was absolutely breathtaking um very much an italian coliseum vibe to it um, they basically just copied and pasted it, but it was absolutely beautiful. Really, really beautiful place. So this is a view from the stage. Obviously, I came through that tunnel there. Absolutely stunning. As you can tell, it's newly built. Just gonna go through here. There's a bit of a waterfront here as well. So as I said, there's a water, there's a waterfront here. There's actually the beach is just there. So it's not that far. I'm mean, gonna just walk this way because I haven't been this way. I'm probably gonna get lost. But like I said, I've got hours to kill, so I'm sure I'll be fine. Let's see what's on this side. So this place is absolutely massive. I'm not sure if you can tell on the camera, but it's huge. So I'm just gonna wander around to those. It looks like markets to be fair, but I've seen them get closer. Fortunately, it looks like I can't get through. Well, technically I could jump over because stop. I mean, but I'm not trying to get arrested, so I'm just gonna have to wait to come back maybe at night time possibly i'm not really sure what time it opens but as you can see there's loads of markets here so i'm trying to get one of these cars i don't know how to, how to this guy's just completely blank here. he's pretending to be on the phone he's literally pretending to be on the phone bro where's my service man basically i've just walked through these random alleys and i've ended up behind the scenes at qatar tv i don't know how i shouldn't be vlogging it for starters they're gonna kick me out but everyone here is chilling they're living their best life they've got shisha everything sat in shade whatnot um but yeah i'm just gonna head this way i haven't got a bloody clue where i am quite clearly it's beautiful but i don't know where i'm going i don't know where i'm going but i'm gonna try and find some food and someone's staring at me so i probably should go before i get in trouble okay so i've ended up here again i haven't got a clue where i am but listen it's fine it looks pretty uh, apart from that bin there but we'll ignore that we've got some people yeah so it's good to see a bit of civilization first things first let's try get some food there is a palace there i don't know if that's worth i probably should look at that as well i'll see i might come back at night to be fair one of the days uh, but yeah in the meantime let's get some food this is the place the food place nice little traditional seats it's absolutely beautiful i got the game on i forgot that the game on to be fair just vibes, we're gonna sit down, it's nice and cold in here as well, which is a change from outside because it was absolutely boiling. Let's go. Right, so this lovely lady just let me get extra seat. But anyways, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna get some food, the football's on as well. It's a vibe. I just ordered my food. Listen, the vibes are absolutely immaculate. It's very nice and cold in here, as you can see by the wind in the background. Got everyone's flags, every single country represented. Football's on, people smoking shisha, and Arabic food, you can't go wrong. But in general, this whole place is beautiful. Like I said, I definitely need to come back at night um, to check it out as well. So I would imagine it's a lot busier. Uh, but yeah, 
gonna see what the food is like and then we're gonna head home. The food has arrived, some traditional Arab food standard thing and then some bread, mayonnaise, Pepsi, let's go. So I've just come outside, the food was absolutely beautiful. Listen, I would have, I would have vlogged more inside but I mean, you can still hear it. The commentary, Arab commentary on football is so loud. You can't get a word in. So first things first, regarding the food, out of 10, I'll probably give it a solid seven. Alhamdulillah, it was nothing special, um, but it does job, it does job. Also traditional food from this part of the world. Vibes, 10, absolutely immaculate. No complaints whatsoever. Service, I'll give it a strong nine slash 10. Um, no Wi-Fi, which is only a negative, but I don't really care too much. Uh, but everything else was brilliant man the fo football was already it's freezing cold in there as i've already said can't complain really alhamdulillah it wasn't too expensive i think it came up to 80 real um for what i think it might have been 85 it might have been 80 which is basically 20 quid which you could probably say was borderline on the most uh, more expensive part i don't think it was personally i got two pepsis and obviously the food as you've seen but yeah happy days i'm gonna get an uber need to get back to the hotel get to the gym because i need to burn this off uh, and then inshallah i'm gonna go to work so on the way back to the hotel i got to go past the famous flags and as you can see it's absolutely beautiful each country is represented here which for me was a very nice touch from the qatari people overall my trip to qatara village was absolutely fantastic i would highly recommend it however i will say make sure you go at 2 p.m so the markets are actually open because that was a a massive mistake on my part but regardless of that the food is fantastic the vibe is brilliant and of course the mosque and the amphitheater were absolutely spectacular i must see for me personally but what i'm going to do now i'm just going to play some music and allow you to enjoy downtown doha Got back to the hotel as you can see i'm just about to head to the gym um but, but listen i'm gonna end the vlog there but before i do that i just want to say one thing from what i've seen on social media and since i've been here completely polar opposite i mean a lot of people on social media in particular in the western world have been extremely critical of the qatari people i understand some of that is justified um but what i will say is unless you've been here unless you've experienced this for yourself don't just take what they say as gospel and as truth um, what I will say, the hospitality has been absolutely fantastic alongside so many other things uh, within this country and the city in particular. Honestly, it's just really sad to see all the negativity surrounding the country. Again, like I said, I know some of it is justified, um, but a lot of it is made up and a lot of it isn't really the truth and it doesn't really represent the country in any way, shape or form. So I suppose the advice I would give is, unless you've been to the country and, or unless you've educated yourself on the matter, don't just take what social media or the media are saying as gospel you know make your own decisions based off your own personal experiences of traveling to the country or just educating yourself deeper on the country and the laws the polit political side etc etc um but yeah for me personally i've thoroughly enjoyed it so far two weeks in of my work and obviously two weeks in of my stay got two weeks left hopefully i can travel more but what i will say is the next vlog is going to be an absolute banger it should be the match day to England against the USA so I'm probably gonna vlog well I am gonna vlog that so I would imagine that would be the next vlog so make sure if you haven't already firstly slap a like on this video and of course subscribe to the channel you definitely do not want to miss that and obviously as I've already said these vlogs are probably gonna come out after the World Cup so God knows England might have had an absolute disaster you guys already know what the outcome of that is but stay tuned nevertheless and I will take you along with me peace